If you head over to Azuna and head to this location, then you will find a unicorn named Charlie, and this is a popular reference to the YouTube series called Charlie the Unicorn, in which the main character is a unicorn named Charlie, who was accompanied by two other unnamed unicorns. In the first animated short, Charlie wakes up to find that his kidney had been stolen, and if you kill the two nearby unicorns named Sinister Lay Runner and Devious Sun Runner, then you will recover a kidney. If you head down to the beach in Stormheim, then you will find a murloc down there known as Sir Finley Mergleton. This character is also a legendary minion in Hearthstone, serving as one of the protagonists of the adventure League of Explorers. But what's interesting about this is that usually, Hearthstone cards are made based on characters that already exist within the world of Warcraft. But this is the first appearance of Sir Finley Mergleton in World of Warcraft to date. So for once, World of Warcraft is making a reference to Hearthstone. If you're playing a Beast Mastery Hunter, then be sure to pay attention to the walls in the Vercule Tomb. I say this because within this tomb, you will find four huge flags that tell the story of the Vercule, and one of them mentions a hero called Hakup. They say that he was the first to tame the Storm Drakes and that he had a powerful Black Drake called Ruthless. Now, does all this sound familiar to you? A one-legged hero called Hakup, he was the first to tame a dragon, and his dragon was a powerful black dragon called Ruthless. I don't know why, but it, it kind of sounds familiar. In the Drowned Magic Academy, in Azuna, you will find a cat that wanders the halls. Said cat is called Mr. Nors, or Filtry's cat and occasionally, Mr. Norris will sit down next to Mr. Filch, who is also the Academy Caretaker. These two are a reference to Harry Potter, because the Caretaker in Harry Potter is called Argus Filch, and his cat is called Mrs. Norris. In Stormheim, there are multiple quests involving dragons, and some of these quests have some interesting names that may sound familiar to some people. If you're wondering why, well it's because some of these quests are named after songs by the speed metal band Dragon Force, such as Cry Thunder, Fury of the Storm, and Heart of a Dragon. In the underbelly of Dalaran, you will occasionally encounter a rat boss named Splint, and this, along with the young mutant war turtles that accompany him, is a reference to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, with Splint being a reference to Master Splinter, and the Mutant Turtles being a reference to, well, the Mutant Turtles. In the special zone called Helheim, there is a bonfire with a sword stuck in it, and this is an obvious reference to the bonfires in the Dark Souls franchise. Similarly to the bonfires, there is another reference to Dark Souls in the form of Solaire of Anderhol. While this NPC was added in Warlords of Draenor, it wasn't until Legion that he was given a set location within the world, and the location was the New Lion's Rest area looking out over the ocean, and this is a reference to how Solaire in Dark Souls always looked up at the sun when pondering his thoughts. While strolling through the streets of Dalaran, you may have noticed a flower vendor with a blood elf male next to her. The vendor is named Aerith Primrose, and the bodyguard is named Karud, who wields a large familiar sword. These two are a reference to Final Fantasy, and the sword is part of the reference, as it is modelled after the Buster Sword. In the Dalaran Coffee Parlour, you will find two NPCs, named Roscoe and Rochelle. And these two are a reference to the characters from Friends, named Ross and Rachel. Behind one of the banks in Dalaran, you will come across this strange ethereal NPC, called Zirios, who sells exotic goods for rare coins. This is a reference to a special character from the video game Destiny, called Zur. Zur was a special goods vendor who always wore a hood and sold rare items. The items that Zirio sells also contain references to Destiny, such as Gilar's Horn, Mote of Light, and Ingram's Puzzle. That's it for this list guys, if you have any recommendations for a future video, then let me hear them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!